Hey, I told y'all I was gonna call y'all back. Thought I was gonna forget about Italy. Boy, I can't forget about y'all. Mm-mm, mm-mm. My fan said, drop that shit. My motherfucking Italian fan said, drop that shit. You feel me? Now, y'all know when Denton dropped that shit, it's not for the sensitive. Y'all know that. You feel me? This shit right here strictly for Italy, though. This for all my Italian people. You feel me? Fuck everybody else right now. This is about my people. You feel me? My Italian homies. You feel me? And brothers and sisters, goddamn it. You feel me? Yeah, hey, my Italian brothers and sisters. They my brothers and sisters, too. You feel me? Y'all know I don't believe in no racism shit. None of that shit. Can't get in my dome with that bullshit. You feel me? Can't get in that dome with that bullshit. You feel me? Now, dig, 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 dig. We got to let my diamonds and my rubies open it up. Since I kicked off all 103, maybe 104 other celebrities off my shit. So now I'm the only celebrity on my show now. You feel me? I told y'all I was going to get rid of the motherfuckers. You feel me? Fuck that shit. Motherfuckers had too much legal issues and all type of crazy shit going on. Mm-mm. Then don't need that shit. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. But back to this real shit, though. Let my diamonds and my rubies open this real shit up real quick. You feel me? Rubies. Check. VVS is Check. Your little canary diamond straight there. 30 G's looking beautiful. 30 G's looking beautiful. But look, look, look. But hold on now. For the drop that Florence on you, boy. I'm for the drop that shit. You feel me? Excuse my language, you feel me? But this how Denton be coming, you feel me? Shit. Hey, look. Y'all know who my role models is. My role models is like the Sopranos and shit like that. You feel me? So shit. You know, we ain't got no problem telling nobody, you know what I'm saying? What they can do and where they can get off at. You feel me? Yeah. I said it. They can all suck a motherfucking dick if they don't know who the fuck Denton is. Fuck them. You feel me? Or if they ain't trying to goddamn it, find out what Denton is about. You feel me? Yeah, because I need support too. I need support too. You feel me? I was raised up by the best. You feel me? By the best. You feel me? But no, no, no. Hold on, hold on. Back to this real shit, man. Back to this real shit now. You hear me? But drop this shit on y'all. You feel me? Now, y'all know what celebrity I'm talking about. You feel me? But I, I don't say no names and shit. You feel me? But look, I'm going to give y'all a clue. You know what I'm saying? He a rapper and shit, you feel me? And his name kind of similar to um, Rocky Rococo. Mm-hmm. Everybody knows him now, right? You feel me? All right, cool, cool, cool. Now, let's continue, let's continue, let's continue. You feel me? Now, dig, let me tell you about this motherfucking nigga. And when I say nigga, it means all ethnics, you feel me? I told you I don't believe in no racism, so you know what I'm saying? When I say nigga, it means all ethnics, you feel me? Tip of my Italian homie, man, my Italian brother, you feel me? First motherfucker. Now, this real shit right here now. Now, you know what I'm saying? Let me tell you how he was when he came here to Chicago. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? He was from Florence, um, F- Florence, Italy, though. You feel me? But I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to tell you how we met and everything. You feel me? Now, I had met him, right? Because he, he used to flip a lot of property. All he was into was real estate. Nothing illegal. All he did was flip property. That's it. But he had balls, though. But he just flipped plenty of real estate. That was just his craft. He was just good at flipping real estate, opening and closing shit. He had a broker's license and all that shit, too. You know what I'm saying? Plus, he did his little music shit on the side. So, he had a lot of good shit going for him. Like, money was never an issue for him, right? It was just crafted like that, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? But he taught me a lot of shit, though. But look, check it out, check it out, though. Check it out. See what happened, though. This how me and him meet, you feel me? One of my mans and shit, you know what I'm saying? One of my homies and shit, you know what I'm saying? One of my white boys, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep this shit 100 with you. One of my white boys and shit, right? He came to my crib one day and shit, right? Because at the time and shit, I was selling ecstasy pills and shit. You feel me? I ain't going to jack to you. I'm going to keep this shit all the way 100. Fuck them. Hey, look, they don't want to hear the truth. Fuck them. Tell them, then say suck a dick if y'all don't want to hear the truth. Fuck it. We don't give a fuck. Fuck them. You know what I'm saying? Okay, now look, check it out, check it out, check it out. I'm selling XC pills and shit, right? This motherfucker come to my crib one day, right? My white boy come to my crib one day, right? All of a sudden, now you been buying 20 pills and shit. I mean, uh, uh, $20, you know, spending $20 on the pills and shit now. All of a sudden, you come to the crib and shit, right? This nigga had plenty of money, though. I said, what the fuck going on? He said, man, this dude and shit I know, man, he gave me $8,000 and said, hold this shit and don't do nothing. But he said, he said, uh, but dude, the dude, the white boy was tooting a little cocaine and shit on the low low and shit so he ain't do the, you know what I'm saying my Italian homie didn't know that shit you feel me he ain't know that part you feel me at least he didn't let it be known that he knew that part if he did you feel me but look let me see what happened let me see what happened so I'm like man what the fuck you man nigga just trust you with all this money man get the fuck out of here man what the fuck so then he kind of my crib right yeah he had like six thousand something dollars left right it's like man I ain't finna get a nigga shit I said man he said, I already had fucked off $2,000 of his money already. I said, where? He said, the strip club and shit and powder in my nose. I said, what? I said, man, you got that man number? He said, yeah. I said, man, give me that goddamn phone and give me his number. I called the man up. Because I, I, I told the white boy, I said, nigga, if it was your shit, 
you know, I told you nigga fly to all ethnics with me. I ain't racist and shit. You know what I'm saying? That's why all my friends are different cultures and, and different religions and from everywhere. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with everybody. I don't give a fuck. But look, look, I said, nigga, if it was your shit, would you want a motherfucker to run off with your shit? You stupid ass nigga. That shit bogus as hell to do some stupid ass shit like that, bro. If that was your shit, nigga, you know what I'm saying? You want a motherfucker to run off with your shit, then the man trusting you and shit, and you gonna run off with his shit, nigga. You bogus as hell, nigga. Nigga, give me his number. So he gave me dude number, right? But he was scared as hell of the dude. And shit. I told the dude to split plenty of real estate. That's all he do, you know what I'm saying? But look though. So I called dude, I'm like, hey, look, man. I, I tell him, you know what I'm saying, look, my name is Joseph Denton, man. Listen, man, I need to meet you, man. You know what I'm saying? Look, man, the man, I know I know the man had $8,000 of your money, man, but she, all he got right now is like $6,000-something, dollars, man. And I'm fit to bring him and I'm fit to bring his money and shit to you, man. Where, where, where you want to meet at? You know what I'm saying? The man told me to meet him, you know what I'm saying, at the mall, you feel me? Yeah, so you know what I'm saying? I get my white boy, you know what I'm saying? I, I ain't gonna lie, you know what I'm saying? I'm getting this Glock 40, you know what I'm saying? And, uh... I had I had like a, a a little nine on me and shit, you know what I'm saying? Wasn't no big shit, nothing. Just some shit to go to the mall to get his man back his money and shit, you know what I'm saying? And just pray motherfucking shit don't that we don't have a big ass shootout, right? Right? Cause this stupid ass motherfucker, homeboy of mine, my white boy and shit, and fucked up this man money and shit. So this one I first found out Italian speak English real real good too. I ain't know this shit cause one of them, you know, I knew I knew it, but I ain't know it like he speak it real real good, right? So one of the dudes, he big as hell and shit, you know what I'm saying? He ain't saying no talking. He wasn't doing no talking, right? The other dude and shit, you know what I'm saying? He was talking and shit. Other type dude was talking and shit. And, you know, and then he was talking like calmly and shit. You know, I handed him the bag with the, with the, I had the money in the shoebox. I handed him the whole bag and shit, you know what I'm saying? Like a gym, you know what I'm saying? Get that man his shit, man. That shit wrong. Take some shit from somebody. Do any of that stupid ass shit to somebody. That shit is, that shit all the way out of order. You know what I'm saying? That man trying to make it like everybody else trying to make it, man. You out of order, right? So dig, right? Big dude that I told you I ain't think that's how you knew English, right? So he just hit his motherfucking hand on the desk at uh, the full court. He, he said, Why didn't you answer the phone? We got on white boy. That's right. He's like, Why didn't you answer the phone? Where the fuck have you been at? Oh, right. You know what I'm saying? I ain't know the motherfucking New England. You know what I'm saying? So dig, right? So then I'm gonna tell him, you know what I'm saying? I'm just then. Thought the white boy had already told his motherfucker about me. Dude knew everything about my whole motherfucking life already. I'm looking at the white boy like, man, I should kill your ass right now, you stupid motherfucker. You told these people about me, man. Motherfucker, you talking about this man flip, man, this man flip real estate and shit, man. You know how much money that mean that man got? You done told this man all about me, you stupid ass. Man, I should kill your ass, nigga. Fuck you doing? And you running off with these people's shit. So, look, look. The motherfucker real estate agent, uh, because he had his broker license and shit, right? You know what I'm saying? The real estate dude hurt my Italian homie, right? That's how we get cool, you know what I'm saying? Rocky Rococo, you know what I'm saying? This is how we get cool. He, he was famous doing his little music and still flipping property, right? Now check it out. He tell me, he like, I want to make you in charge of holding my money. I'm like, what the fuck? You know, like, what the fuck? He's like, man, because, you know, he from Italy, so he ain't got nowhere to really hold all his cash while he here in the States and shit, you feel me? So he like, shit, motherfucker got to hold this shit down and shit, and I pay him motherfucker to hold my money because he flipping properties and shit, and he ain't taking all day to flip the motherfuckers, nigga. He flipping properties within 15 days, bro. I'm talking about he get that motherfucker. He ain't even got them really fixing it up. He get it. He put a fence around that motherfucker and go get them little uh them plants and shit and plant that shit in the yard. It boosts the value of the shit. And then the shit was just sold. Like he really, really had like a real flipping houses technique. Like never before. You feel me? So he need so so I'm like, damn, okay. I'm gonna trust me like this. What the fuck? You know, I'm a real righteous brother. You know what I'm saying? So I tell him, cool. Man, man, I love the fuck I'm out telling you people, good, how much motherfucking money this man let me have? First time, just because I had brought my white boy back, you know what I'm saying? They was trying to run off and shit. Man, that motherfucker, man, look, man, that motherfucker gave me like 20 some thousand dollars and shit to hold, right? You know me, I'm cool. I don't give a fuck about no money, you know what I'm saying? I've been dealing with money my whole life and shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm just like, damn, like, what the fuck? How the fuck he trust me like that? You know what I'm saying? What the fuck? But see, then it, it all makes sense, you know what I'm saying? Then we got tight as a bitch, you know what I'm saying? Like, dude, with dogs, he took my whole family shopping, right, bro? We had one in his van one day, right, bro? I bullshit you not, man. Man, Italians get money, man. They don't be fucking around, bro, and they get money, man. I'm going to keep it 100, man. The motherfuckers do not fuck around, bro. I'm telling you. I'm going to tell you what he did to a motherfucker that tried to play me one time, right? Well, it wasn't good for dude, man. My Italian homie was, will fucking kill you over me. I'm not I don't give a fuck who it is, who you are. Thought they, they don't play about Joseph Denton, period. So know who you fucking with before you fuck with me, period. I don't care who you are. And I'm saying it. I'm saying it live. So air motherfucking know. Know who you fucking with before you think about fucking with me. Just cause it look like it's untouchable and all that. There's consequences behind touching me. Period. Let me tell you what happened though. Now look. 
He take my whole family shopping. You know what I'm saying? Cousins. Everybody. My whole entire family shopping, bro. He had so many gifts, bro. Look. It wasn't even no motherfucking room in the van no more, bro. Talking about the van was filled, like, from front to back. You feel me? This is all. And listen, the man didn't owe me anything. This is all off him having the love for me and loving me like that. You feel me? That's why I love him so much. That's why I said, damn, I smoke too much weed. Send my endorsement check. TSC come to send my shit. You feel me? Number one customer smoke my shit. 20 by 7. Mr. AKA slapped 23 motherfuckers a month and slapped the whole goddamn tattoo off my hand. Yeah. You feel me? Back to the script, though. Back to the motherfucking script, though, right? So, look. He paid, he paid my aunties and them bills and shit, like electric bills and shit, you know what I'm saying? My uncles and them electric bills. Like, he made sure my whole family was straight, bro, you know what I'm saying? Now, that's why one thing I could tell you, you know what I'm saying, about them Italians, you know what I'm saying? They loyal people, bro, and they good people, bro, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, though, look, one time, motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? Man, I told you, I had did that favor for him and shit, right? So, I guess he felt like shit. Anything I need, he'd do it for me, you feel me? Because... Man, I could have easily ran off with that twenty some thousand or forty some thousand dollars he left me with, right? But I didn't, I didn't. I just made sure I stayed protecting his shit every day. You feel me? And I ain't run off with that man money, man, because it's like I wouldn't want nobody to run off with my money. You know what I'm saying? But look, I had borrowed a motherfucker some money before, right? And nigga act like he ain't want to pay me, so I called Rocco Rococo like, hey man, I borrowed this bitch ass nigga some motherfucking money, bro, and this nigga act like he ain't want to pay me, right? He so he returned the favor like I had did for the white boy to him. He called, he said, what's his number? I'll handle it. He said, Joseph, you don't do anything. I handle everything. You don't have to do anything. Yeah, nigga. This shit real, nigga. I don't, what? I don't play like this. You feel me? Shit real. So I give him the number and shit. You know what I'm saying? Man, he called dude ass, right? He tell dude, listen. If you don't have Justin Den's money in such and such amount of time, I don't know how many hours and shit he gave his ass or days or something. He said, then how the fuck are you going to count when I cut your fucking fingers off? Yeah. It got like that. It got, it really got like that. You feel me? Over me. You feel me? Dig. Man, I don't know what dude did to go get my money back, bro. Because he was, I guess he was probably fucking around with some cocaine on low with his nose or some shit. I don't know what the fuck the nigga was doing. You feel me? But, man, that nigga had that motherfucking money that next day for me. You feel me? My motherfucking Italian homie checked that shit in for me. He ain't play no games. You feel me? Yeah. It gets like that over Joseph, did it? It gets like that. Now, y'all said drop that shit. Now, Italy, y'all knew I was going to drop that shit. You feel me? Hey, but look, look, look. Back to the script. Back to the script, though, right? Hey, my Italian homie, man. That motherfucker so crazy, though, look. <laughs> hey, boy, when I say, boy, he crazy, boy, he crazy. Listen, he took one motherfucker, right? Because I'm over chilling and shit with him and shit. One of his little, you know what I'm saying? Little kick out spots and shit. We barbecuing and shit. They got their dogs over there and shit. Tell me why one motherfucker that I had with me tried to take a picture and shit of him, right? Man, guess what he told him? He said, listen, you not Joseph Denton. I can't touch Joseph. Because Joseph, jo I, can't, I can't touch him. You know what I mean? That's what he told him. He said, he said, but you, I throw battery acid on your ass and burn your ass a lot, man. If you ever try to take another picture around this motherfucker again. Yeah! He got like that. He got like that. You feel me? Yeah, because it's like, man. I'm, I'm bringing this guy around my people's right. I'm bringing you around my Italian people, right? Man, they don't take pictures and shit like that all the time, man. Like, not, not, not my, I mean, they do, but my homie ain't, you know, my Italian homie ain't know him for him to be flicking pictures. He don't know what the fuck he was trying to do with that picture, you feel me? So he had to kind of offense to the picture because he ain't know what you was trying to do with the picture, you feel me? Like, I got Italian homies that's just like that. When they come down and they're taking, taking pictures, bro, you got to ask them, bro, you know what I'm saying? Because some of them just feel like they just don't like pictures, period. You know what I'm saying? He just one of them type of people. Like, you know what I'm saying? My Italian homie, he's not a picture person. Period. He don't like pictures. You see, I know this because me and him kick it all the time. You feel me? We, we, you know what I'm saying? We got that bond. We got to know each other. But the average person probably wouldn't know that. But it was like, I'm like, I'm like, yeah, man. Throw battery ass on that burning ass lie. What the fuck is he doing taking pictures around it? And I was like, you know what I'm saying? What the fuck? But I'm like, nah, don't do it. You know what I'm saying? Because he is kind of cool. But, bro, man, don't do that. I'm but, bro, don't do that shit again. You feel me? We at a barbecue. We chilling, man. You just fuck the whole mood up, nigga. We don't take pictures. You feel me? I know I don't. You feel me? I take pictures now and shit, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm super famous and shit, you know what I'm saying? For my, you know what I'm saying? Celebrity shit, you know what I'm saying? But other than that, back in the days, boy, I hated pictures. When a motherfucker take a picture of me, I ain't know what you gonna try to do with the picture, you know what I'm saying? Motherfucker take a picture of me now, you can sell a motherfucker, you feel me? Shit like that. A lot of people, we just don't like pictures. We just not, I never been a picture person, you know what I'm saying? I just not started, you know what I'm saying? Getting on, on, on the internet and shit, dropping my shit, you feel me? Because before that, you know what I mean? I was just one of them people that kept to myself and shit. And I only I only dealt with um like productive people, like if you was into real estate or you was into like 
uh, mortgage or you was into like uh, going to college, going to school, uh, be any business trade or if you was into like stocks and bonds and just I, I, I my thing was like I kicked I, my thing was you know I kicked it around a lot of nerds but a lot of hood street dudes at the same time so it's like I had both you know what I'm saying I had that I had that geek think process and shit but I had that you know what I'm saying if you fuck up this was gonna be you feel me because these type of people you know what I'm saying that was always in my life and shit I always had productive people in my life you feel me so I was kind of like a loner a little bit but I had a big old crew behind me at all times you feel me but I always was a loner because but I always had a big crew behind me you feel me. Because I'm, I'm always one of the motherfuckers like this. I feel like you could never kill me. You feel me? Because, like, motherfucker, you can kill me literally, but the people that's going to come at, at at you over that shit, they ain't never going to stop coming. They're never going to stop coming. Females, males, you ain't going to know how they going to come. They're just never going to stop coming. You feel me? So it's like that. That's how I was. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? I say all that to say that. You know what I'm saying? I, mean, I say all that to say this. You feel me? I always been a person that kicked it around intelligent people. You know what I mean? But look, 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 though. This 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 why I love my Italian people so much though, right? Bro, we got so cool, right? I had met his moms and shit, right? He took me to his mama crib. My guy that um be flipping property and shit. I told you from Florence and shit, right? From he from Florida, Florence, from Italy. You know what I'm saying? From Florence, right? He took me to his mama crib one day, right? Dude, his mama crib was so fucking big, right, bro? His mama got a crib up here in the United States. You know what I'm saying? Uh, over there in uh, Cali, right? Bro, her crib so big, bro. Palm trees, everything. I'm like, oh, mama, you got a big house. Guess what his mama told me? She said, Joseph, this is nothing. This house is nothing. This is a little house. She said, Joseph, you're going to have a way bigger house than this. Dude, my Italian homie, my big homie, he's my big homie, he's Italian, who I look up to, right? His mother told me that their house that I was looking at was nothing and that I was going to have a bigger house than that. Now, you know how good that made me feel? You know what I'm saying? Like, man, that that was all the motivation that I had needed. You know what I mean? So I, that's why I love my Italian people so much. You know what I mean? Like, it's deep with us. You feel me? But now y'all know how I'm finna end this. You know what I'm saying? Hey, don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. But the main message is do something positive for our community, man. I'll drop this hot content, but y'all got to do something positive for the youth, something positive for the community, and quit all the gun violence, quit all that violence. Y'all want to hear that hot, real street hood shit? I'll keep that shit coming for y'all all day. But do something for the community. Yeah.